Does your laptop screen look similar to this? Here's a quick fix you can do on your own. So this happened at work to me and I already ordered the screen and everything, but so what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna pull this plastic cover off the edges and it's gonna be like this for the majority of computers. Sometimes they're glued down pretty good so you gotta pry a little bit, but if your LCD is already damaged, you can pull a little bit hard and not feel so bad about it. Down here at the bottom, sometimes it's pretty sticky and sometimes it doesn't come up just right, but just keep at it. And this is what this looked like. This was a HP computer. But these are all going to be very, very, very similar. And I'm just pressing the screen again to kind of show you what it looks like. And you can power off uh, your computer while you're doing this. It's probably the best way to do it. But it's not necessary. But there's four screws. And in all these laptops, there's majority of them is there's just going to be four screws. You might come across one every now and then that has two on each. And maybe you'll have eight. But for the most part, you're only going to have four screws. And they're just going to be on the four corners of the LCD. And that's all I'm doing right now. I'm just removing um, these four screws. This little screwdriver I have, it's magnetized. If you have a small screwdriver, you can take a magnet and just kind of pull down on the side of it. And go in the same direction every time. And you can magnetize your screwdriver. It comes in really handy, especially with these tiny screws. Uh, that's all you do is you pop this LCD down and there's one connection that connection right there I try to slow it down so you could see it but there's always one connection that connects the LCD to the computer screen itself and all you gotta do is usually there's a little bit of tape on there is lift that tape up and then separate um, the screen from the computer and every now and then on some computers on this one there wasn't but on some, there's going to be a little, I'm trying to think of what I would call it. It's like a little swinging gate, if you will. And you got to move it out of the way with your finger. On this one, there was no little latch or anything. It was just straight, right, straight, pull it apart, and that was it. The only thing holding it together was a little thin piece of tape. This is the LCD I ordered. Uh, to make sure the one you want, you're going to look on the back of your computer. It's going to say a model number. You're going to find that model number and i just always type mine in on ebay I ordered this screen off ebay like this was a hp g40 or 840 g3 and i just typed in an hp 840 g3 lcd replacement screen and looked at the reviews and this one was 50 dollars, so it wasn't too bad it's like a seven eight hundred dollar computer so a 50 dollar screen it's definitely worth it um, but right here, I'm just kind of showing you all you're going to do is plug that one connection back in, make sure it's down good, put that tape that you took off back on it. You can even put new tape if you want to. It's completely up to you. I was at work when I was doing this, um, but I'm just doing this at work and in the car to show you that it's really pretty simple. You don't got to really have a lot of special tools or a lot of knowledge or anything like that to do it. And I've also seen these replacements go for 120 to 150 dollars. So if the screen's 50 bucks, you know you're gonna save yourself 100 dollars. And uh, I mean, if you do it on this, you could fix yours, and you could fix somebody else's, or fix somebody in your family's, or maybe you got another laptop that's bad. But uh, once again, magnetic screwdrivers, extremely, extremely convenient. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna screw the four screws back in. And you can actually, before you screw the four screws back in, you can actually um, turn your computer on just to make sure that it's working okay before you put the four screws in. I was just super confident that <laughs> nothing was going to go wrong, so I just screwed the screws back in. i uh, done a few of these and never really had a problem. Um, I've had a computer or two that didn't really sit right whenever I put it back on. So you got to go and double check your connection and make sure it's all good. I'm about to uh, power this thing on. I'm peeling off the uh, plastic cover that goes over the screen. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of the whole thing. 
it's one of those like satisfying things i guess if you will <laughs> i like it though um, but once that's off you're going to take that little plastic cover that goes around the edges and this is one part that you do want to be careful of you just installed a brand new lcd they do kind of go down and, and you'll notice um, it's like a large clicking but believe it or not i have pushed a little too hard before and have actually damaged the lcd so when you're clicking these in don't rush it take your time make sure that you're hearing every little click and you're not putting too much pressure on the lcd um, where this is around the lcd you shouldn't have any problems but it's like on the kind of in the middle on each side that's when you get close to the lcd but my cameraman is a bad camera person so i'm sorry but you can kind of see uh, a little bit of it. But that's really all it is. I uh, hope you guys can do this by yourself. I uh, think you can. And it's really simple. If you got any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment below. Um, and let me know what you liked or didn't like. Or if there's anything I can do to help you. Uh, but a lot of the computers are the same. So this should work on very, very many. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.